From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. When it's more than just your lawn, it deserves the Kubota Z400. When you need a head-turning offer on class-leading speed, agility, durability, simple deck height adjustments, and a professional-grade cut, then you need the Kubota Z400 mower. Right now, bring home select Kubota equipment for zero down, 0% APR for up to 48 months, or save $300. Tractors, trailers, rentals. You do it all, we do it local. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm meteorologist Mike Kruger. It is Friday afternoon, and we have got more storms in store for us here through the afternoon tonight, and for some of us, even some showers lingering into tomorrow morning. So let's get you right into it. We're going to start off with our weather headlines. Now, with this main storm system, we're still talking gusty winds. That's the case here for this afternoon into tonight. Much cooler, though, with highs 20 to 30 degrees below normal today, getting a little bit warmer tomorrow, but really not by much. And then it's by the end of the weekend, beginning of next week, that we really start to see those uh, temperatures begin to increase. But heavy rain, gusty winds, lightning, hail, for some of us, not everyone is going to see uh, you know, the, the intensity of some of these thunderstorms, but others will. And you'll know who you are as those storms distance pass on through. Here's your neighborhood forecast at a glance. And yes, it looks pretty active out there, especially for Trinity County, the North Coast, and Siskiyou County. This is where I think we're going to see the bulk of the activity here today. Now, later this afternoon, late afternoon, early evening, the valley gets in on the activity and maybe some thunderstorms too, especially say Redding Red Bluff. Tonight, Chico, Willows, Oroville, right? Modoc County, later this evening, tonight. The Eastern Mountains, it's tonight that you'll see the activity moving on in. But also notice those cooler temperatures for those daytime highs. Now, all this talk about rain, thunderstorms, and we're talking about fire, elevated fire risk. Well, it's still gonna be very windy off to the east and not to mention dry because you're not gonna see the rain until tonight. So we've got the elevated fire risk there, things to keep in mind as we head off into Eastern Modoc and Eastern Lassen counties. So you can see the winds, right? They're very strong off to the east. Not so much off to the west. This is more a way of scattered windy conditions because again, we're talking thunderstorm winds here. This is just winds coming in from the overall area of low pressure in general. Okay, then we go into your Saturday. The winds are dying down, but still a bit breezy off to the east. And then overall on Sunday, even calmer winds are in the forecast. And that is gonna be some, a good sight there. Generally between five and 10 miles per hour, a few areas just above 10, but not looking all that bad. Humidity is going to be a, also something positive as well. We're going to be 30% or higher in the valley, not to mention in the eastern mountains today. Tomorrow, about the same, maybe just a tad, tad lower in the humidity department, but still very good humidity levels. Then by Sunday, uh, that summer humidity is back in the single digits and teens for the valley by Sunday. So what's going on? Well, we've got a big swirling area of low pressure right here. The center of that low is right here. So what we saw last night is right here. That's moved on out. Now we've got this disturbance right here that's heading our way through the afternoon. So let's take a look at that. First and foremost, the climate, the storm prediction center has put out this area of green indicating where we have the best chance for thunderstorms today. Earlier today, later today. It's going to be one of those progressions from uh, west to east. That's pretty typical. By tomorrow, most of it's off to the east, and it'll be mainly in the morning hours. By the afternoon, we can pretty much take that green out of there. Now, we'll also need to mention and talk about the flash flood watch, and we're going to talk about the timing of this. So I think that the best potential for mudslides and debris flows from the park fire will be late tonight, early tomorrow morning. And of course, we'll take a look at that here in a second here. We'll look at future cast. So 3 p.m. The main band of rain is in northern Humboldt, Del Norte, western Siskiyou, northern Trinity. But even at three o'clock this afternoon, we could see a little bit of shower activity towards the north end of the valley. But it looks like towards Old Shasta, city of Shasta Lake, right? Lakehead, Mount Shasta. Again, just barely getting in in that. Then we go into the second half of the afternoon, closer to the evening. Now we're seeing the potential for showers and thunderstorms. I think for a red bluff northward is where we can see that here from about three o'clock until six o'clock in the afternoon evening. But Corning, Chico, Orville, Willows, most likely still dry at this point. 
Now we are seeing in advance of all of this, a little bit of shower activity, You're just starting to see that moisture, the atmosphere get a little bit more saturated. So we could see some stray light showers here from Modoc County, the Eastern Mountains, but nothing significant at this point. Most of the rain, as you can still see, is right here. But this is all gonna be shifting to the south and to the east here as we go into tonight. You'll see that here. Let's take you into 10 o'clock tonight. Now we're starting to see it fill in a little bit more for Modoc County, Lassen County, the valley, all. I think Chico, Oroville, Willows at this point, you're wet. You're looking at at least, at the very least, some showers. The yellows and oranges indicating some moderate rainfall, maybe even a few isolated thunderstorms coming into tonight for parts of the valley as well. This is also the time frame when we start to see some rain making its way over the park fire. Now this is good from the standpoint of the firefighting efforts bad from the standpoint of once it starts getting heavier we've got the potential for mudslides and debris flows i was talking about now if you look closely i've got the burn scar or the burn uh, from the fire perimeter for the boise fire right here heavy rainfall parts of today and of course tonight as well so you can see by 10 o'clock tonight it's becoming almost an overall area wide rainfall event you can start, still see even out towards plumas county uh, to the south, you're still looking at fairly dry conditions. But then as we go into midnight, early, early tomorrow morning, this is when we start to see some of the heavy rainfall. So between 10 o'clock tonight until about 3 o'clock tomorrow morning, this is when we have that window of heaviest rainfall over the park fire. This is when we've got the potential for mudslides and debris flows in that area. So just be forewarned that as you go to bed tonight, you want to make sure that you have some way of getting information as to whether or not there are any evacuations in your area because of the mudslides and debris flows. If you have to travel tomorrow morning in this area, do take note that there may be closures because of the potential for mudslides and debris flows. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. It's just saying that with that potential for that heavy rainfall, there is going to be that uh, possibility for some mudslides and debris flows in that area. All right, so again, outside of that, we are seeing the back side of the storm system now. So we're seeing less activity for Del Norte, Humboldt County, Western Siskiyou County. But we're still seeing some pretty heavy rainfall in this area right here, not to mention uh, towards uh, all of Shasta County, really. And you can see even in the mountains there. So the mountains east of the valley will start to see some of that upsloping, which could bring some heavy rainfall at times there as well, not to mention thunderstorms. We're going to take you to tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Now, look what's happening. East of the valley, but eastern Shasta County, Bernie, uh, say Shingletown, Viola, uh, places like uh, Lassen Volcanic National Park, all of these areas seeing the chance with thunderstorms tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Modoc County, Lassen, Plumas County, all seeing showers and thunderstorms early tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Elsewhere, it's going to be damp outside, mostly cloudy, Maybe a, few, a little bit of drizzle, maybe some light showers, but most of it is gone by now, and it's the worst of it. We're done. Then, by noon, we're still seeing a leftover shower for parts of Lassen County, maybe even Modoc County, and we can't rule out even a thunderstorm through the late morning hours on Saturday. But through the day on Saturday, look what's happening. The clouds are starting to clear out. By Saturday night, the clouds are gone, and then we're seeing more sunshine for your Sunday, not to mention warmer for your Sunday. By the way, today low 70s in the valley, tomorrow mid 70s. So gorgeous weather for your Saturday. So how much rain can we expect? I think the heaviest batch of rain will be here that we saw where the heaviest rainfall, where we're seeing that upsloping east of the valley right here. We can also see some heavy rainfall as well. So yeah, parts of the park fire but less rain as you head to the southern portions of the valley and not to mention into Modoc and Lassen counties. But there could be, I mean, we're cl close to a half an inch, I think in some spots here for parts of Modoc County, but I think we're gonna see anywhere from a few hundreds down to the southern end of the valley to upwards of an inch or more in parts of the North Coast in particular. So yes, some decent amounts of rainfall for some of us, not so much for others. So we're going from fall-like today and tomorrow back to summer. Fall like for today and tomorrow because that area of low pressure is on top of us is giving us the cooler temperatures and the windy conditions. By Saturday afternoon, Sunday, it's moving on out of here. High pressure building in by the end of the weekend and for next week. 
Now, what's gonna prevent this ridge from building as strong as it would like? This storm system here, another one right here, is gonna ride over that ridge of high pressure. So even though it's gonna move through us, we're going to see it suppressed. It won't get as strong as it'd like to because of these storm systems riding over Canada, preventing that dome of high pressure from really building as strong as it would like to. As a result, it's still going to get hot, but it'll be back to around normal, which is the upper 90s for most of us in the valley by Monday through pretty much all of next week. Now, some of us could reach that 100 degree mark at points in time next week, but overall, just right around or slightly above normal for this time of the year. Nothing unusual. But again, before we get there, we got these temperatures today, low to mid 70s. Now we talked about the timing during future casts. So I'm not going to go too much into that, but you get the idea. It's going to be a lot cooler out there for those daytime highs today. And not to mention tomorrow, you'll see that in the seven day outlook. Saturday for the valley, mid 70s. Gotta love it. But we're back in the upper 80s by Sunday. There are those upper 90s to maybe around 100 degrees for some of the warmer spots through next week. Looking at your seven-day outlook for the coast, inland and Weaverville, also drier conditions by Saturday afternoon in particular. We're keeping it cool on Saturday, warming back up, especially for inland and Weaverville by Sunday and in the 90s there as well by next week. But of course for the coast, actually a little bit warmer for the coast too. We're going to be kind of flirting with that 70 degree mark. And for Siskiyou County, Modoc County and Susanville, yeah, we're dry, especially over the second half of the weekend. And then it's warming back up there as well for Monday through Thursday of next week. That's your afternoon update. Be sure to tune in for the six o'clock evening update as I'll have the latest forecast model data for you and really give you a good sense of what to expect for tonight and going through the weekend. Until then, have a great afternoon. We'll see you at six o'clock this evening. At Wind River Resort and Casino, we like to celebrate life's little moments. Oh, and the big ones too. Because around here, when you're completely in the moment, that's when the magic happens. Come in and find your moment at Wind River Resort and Casino.